Yes. <clears throat> the interview in the dark. It's just more relaxing. Don't you think? What's my first childhood memory of art or doing some kind of art, you ask? I think it was in elementary school. Oh, what? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Yeah, I went to this little elementary school, and I remember eating Elmer's Paste. One of the other kids said, oh, try this. And I was like, what, what are you doing? And they were like, taste this. It's like, okay, well, it didn't taste bad. It wasn't, I don't think it was harmful because a lot of kids ate Elmer's paste growing up. But, oh, uh, 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 Mediums of art do I work in? Well, I'm interested I'm interested in all I'm interested in all art I find that you could draw inspiration from All forms of art, I won't go into details, but it's obvious what I'm saying. Oh, my technique. Well, now that's something different. That is classified. That is classified top secret, if you will. I don't discuss how I make sculptures or my paintings uh, yeah I might have a beer here in a little bit what oh yeah no I don't use drugs no but yes I do occasionally uh, sip beer while I'm working uh Sometimes tobacco, you know. Uh, it just depends. It just depends the time of the day or what I'm working on. Uh, oh, how many... How many works of art have I completed? Or... Well... It's in the hundreds now. I don't think it's in the thousands. Maybe close to a thousand. A lot of... A lot of drawings. Ink on paper. I always try to use... You know... Something that can be framed and saved for hundreds of years, acid-free type paper, some form of canvas. I've painted on, yeah, so I've painted on sometimes anything I could get my hands on. Plywood, that plastic poster board, uh, 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 commercial wallpaper, it's very thick. It's like almost like a canvas. It's like a cotton wallpaper. Uh, comes in giant rolls for, you know. Uh, hundreds of pieces. 
I've put together some objects de curiosity. Uh, some copper sort of sculptures. Oh, what size are I, anywhere from drawings on? I believe it's nine, nine and a half by twelve paper. Uh, the largest canvas is probably no more than three, three or four feet by maybe the biggest four foot by five foot, but. I haven't really delved into that. I don't understand. I don't really... Unless you have a really large mansion or a, a giant office building or some a warehouse, I don't know where people put these huge sculpture, sculpture, sculptures or paintings. Uh, they seem to like them at the the gallery. Uh, they got uh, is it de Kooning, the stainless steel balloon dog, and you know who? What artists? What are my inspirations? What are my... Well, I am art. I live art. I breathe art. Everything I see to me is art or can be art. But as far as other artists, I like other artists. I, I study, watch learn from even if I've seen it a hundred times always there's a surprise I like to I've studied all the great I like the Impressionist era the uh, all the way back to Michelangelo but the Impressionists Van Gogh Matisse Monet Uh, just painters from all over the world. From London to Paris to Japan. Japanese painters are great. They do their woodblock prints and uh, uh, I study young artists, old artists. Uh, new artists you know but I just create spontaneously mostly to me if you don't have any life experience or creativity if you can't just create something on the on the spur of the moment type thing. <clears throat> Whether it be black and white, color, ink, paint, clay. <clears throat> oh yes, I do have clay sculptures. Yeah. I I was doing that I don't, I don't know, about a year ago approximately I I think I have about 50 clay sculptures. I have different ones on my YouTube. Oh, that's that's one of my cat. That's my cat. Hello. Yeah, I guess this is a good time. You could be in the interview. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do draw cats. I paint cats. I love... All animals. I would say beyond being art, 
living and breathing art. I'm inspired by nature, by animals, people, weather, various subjects, uh, yes, right now, what I'm working on are some abstract pieces. <laughs> it was cubism, and now I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with the abstract painting. You know, that's another thing that people say you don't need talent for, but I find that while I'm painting, things just materialize. When I'm not even trying, it's when the best happens. Things appear on the canvas that if you tried to put, it, it would probably be a blob or a blur a mess of color. But I think it's I like to I like it in the Japanese uh kind of in a Japanese way to work fast. So you don't have time to think and, and do to I mean you have your basic idea what you want. But it comes from the soul, from the subconscious. You know, uh, it's not what I do. Is not so mechanical like Warhol, uh, who I studied extensively. He he was fantastic. I really enjoy his work. Uh, but he was. Uh, uh, you know, it was a mechanical process or a draftsman process of his early stuff. Very talented. He was a very talented artist. And I like his work ethic. That I have taken that into consideration. Uh, I like to say I work 24 hours a day, 8 days a week. Even sometimes in my dreams... I see paintings that I uh, I would like to paint. Uh, sometimes I'm too groggy to remember, and I really should wake up and try to sketch it out or something. Sometimes I do, if I'm not completely <coughs> asleep, but... Uh, Paul Glee. I find his work fun and interesting. Uh, intelligent. Colorful. I believe he was a draftsman or a commercial artists <clears throat> but his color and his his art is really nice I was looking at several of his works recently but many many oh gosh all the greats all the great artists the amateurs the uh I find it enlightening to watch other artists and not just in the normal sense of art, drawing and painting, but dance, singing, uh, people that build things, metalworks, carpentry. I'm, I really am, I really find it fascinating, the, the talented people in the world. <clears throat> and I draw from what I see and what I learn, but 
with my own creation, my own creativity and imagination, I, uh, it's where my art comes from. The subconscious, the conscious, the, sometimes the mood you're in, maybe you're angry, sad, happy, but once, what's that? Yes, yes, we'll go into that if you like. I don't like to talk about my process too much, but what I do is Zen. It's a Far East philosophy. And what happens is, when you start painting or drawing, if you let go a bit, and if you're in that, you can call it kind of like the zone. Some people like to call it the zone. But to me, it's a Zen feeling when you're going into what you're working on and the process becomes free. Freedom is a good word for it. It's a free process of thought, action, the ink or paint or clay. And the outcome can be surprising. What's... Well, yeah, like Bob Ross said, you know, you can make mistakes. But, as he said, they're happy mistakes. I, for instance, some, some of my work, I did not even plan... It would come out, you would think, at first, when you're doing it, you're like, oh no, oh, look at that. But it actually turns out fantastic and better. Oh, I never, oh, what? Oh no, I never throw away, oh, I never throw away any of, so I've seen that. I've seen that, especially with, uh, cer what, ceramics, clay, uh, glass work. They'll destroy, they'll destroy their creations when they don't think they're up to par. But I think what they don't understand is that that mistake, that blemish, that, that uh, extra dab of paint or crooked or indentation or compression could be the best work they've ever done and they destroy it. I keep all of my stuff I mean you know and I try to protect it. I Like I said I like to use acid free papers or you know fairly durable material uh What's, yo, oh, graffiti? Uh, well, I'm fond of graffiti, and uh, I really like Banksy's work. And, uh, oh, dude, I can't, I don't want to mispronounce his name. Jules, Jules Le Rat, the rat? The French man, <clears throat> I, the French chap, uh, they say that, Banksy was inspired by, he, he painted, he says, I saw an interview with him that he painted hundreds of rats all over Paris. Oh, I feel terrible. I, I can't remember the, the I, his name has escaped me. I'm terribly, I apologize. Uh, no, I don't do graffiti. Uh, I just... I wasn't in a culture of that, but I really can't, I really don't, I think it would, I can't be arrested for that. I can't really, uh, but 
I'm really, I'm really thrilled at Banksy's work, though. He's, he's intellectual and comical. Such fun, you know, really, really is. Uh, but, uh, <clears throat> well, my advice? Well, I don't like to give advice on, you know, and I don't reveal my, my process, but I would say to anyone who wants to begin study or do art for a living or for fun, you've got to enjoy it, first of all. You've got to want to do it. Sometimes, like me, uh, I, I have to do it. I, I, you know, like I said, I... I am art. I live, breathe, you know. Everything I see is art. I'm, you know, I'm the greatest living artist in the world today. But I would say enjoy yourself. There's no, there are no rules. There are no categories. The great thing about art and artistry is the freedom. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, uh, people, and don't listen to critics or friends or family who think maybe they don't like your work or they make fun. You know, if you enjoy it, don't stop on account of anybody else. Don't, you know, don't. I'll give you an example, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna end this interview because this is probably the only interview I'll ever do. <clears throat> I went years ago. I was wanting, looking for Native American art or photographs. I went to a shop. I won't. Well, I'll say in Tampa, and I I, I asked the gentleman about. He had a few things, not too much. It was overpriced, but. He didn't have much Native American stuff. That's another thing I've studied and influenced. I, I really enjoy Native American stuff. But <clears throat> I asked him about Bob Ross. Does he have would would someone have Bob Ross paintings? The guy from PBS, remember him with the like I said earlier, the happy accident guy, the happy mistakes. And he scoffed at me and, and kind of thought it was ridiculous and ludicrous but so I let the subject go but I actually used to watch Bob Ross years ago and sometimes I still do just if I if I catch him on TV and uh, it recently I heard that his first painting that he did on PBS sold for uh, I think 10 or 15 million dollars I'm not sure but I think it was a landscape of Alaska he was in the military in Alaska I was in the military also years ago but I thought it ironic that the guy the art gallery the dealer whatever he he foo-fooed Bob Ross and, and that Bob Ross uh, his art is worth millions of dollars now and all the hard work he put into it and teaching teaching is something I've never really done I just haven't really had any kind of opportunity and I don't really look to do that per se I'm not really a probably not patient enough or a teacher type of person but <clears throat> Maybe someone will get something out of this interview. I don't know, but all the best to everyone. Cheers. Arigato. Prost. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Buena suerte. Au revoir. And, uh, Take care. Take care. And whatever you decide to do, 
Enjoy yourself.